Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your May 2017 general readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers who may be with us for the first time. Thank you uh, to those of you who continue to watch, listen, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for taking the time to write in your comments and send all your wonderful support and feedback. Thank you as well to my regular clients uh, for being so great with your consistent feedback and how our readings together continue to play out in your lives. And for everyone uh, in addition who continues to keep me so busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings, it is an honor and a pleasure always to read for you and I'm always grateful for the trust you place in me to do so. And if any of you are interested, oh, and thank you as well. I've been getting uh, quite a bit uh, the last few months uh, of donations, some of them anonymous, uh, in support of my YouTube channel as well. So uh, thank you to those of you for whom I know have donated to the channel and thank of you, thank you to those uh, uh, anonymous donors uh, in addition to, and if anyone is interested uh, in donating and supporting this channel, you can find me on PayPal through my Gmail address. But if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you've never read with me before, you can click on the little about or description button on my YouTube channel's homepage, which will give you a little more information and detail and has my email address. You can feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I do readings full-time six days a week. So I'm usually able to get back with you pretty quickly and set up a personal reading uh, anywhere within a few days, upwards of two weeks, uh, but almost always within a two-week period of time. I do readings live via phone or Skype and recorded based on information you send me, which I record and then send you the link to your email. Uh, I do love romance readings, compatibility charting, career work and finance, year overviews, uh, channeled messages, and so on. So again, if you're interested, send me an email and we'll go from there. So moving right into this, these are general readings and of course they're not going to mean the same thing to the same degree for everyone who's watching because there's thousands of you watching and how could it mean the same thing. So make sure to check your rising and your moon sign videos as well for further insight and clarity, uh, particularly if your primary sun sign video doesn't resonate with you as well. I continue to use the Gilded Tarot by artist Sira Marchetti, drawing eight cards for the month, two cards for each week, time being somewhat relative, of course, with an additional ninth card from the bottom of the deck representing overall energy and advice. So this reading is for Sagittarius for the month of May 2017. Sagittarius, May 2017. What does the month of May have in store for the fire sign of Sagittarius for May 2017? Okay, Sagittarius. We begin with the Empress, followed by the Queen of Wands, the World, followed by the Star, Temperance, followed by Justice, the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the Sun, and from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and advice is the Seven of Wands. My goodness, this reminds me of the April mid-month readings for some of the signs. So many major arcana cards. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of nine of your cards are major arcana cards, Sagittarius. So that is energy that we have no control over. This is energy of God's spirit, your angels and guides. It's divine energy, divine timing and orchestration, heavily at play throughout the month of May uh, for you as well. In what looks to be a truly brilliant, truly awesome uh, sort of way, what this represents in terms of what aspect of your life it refers to, I'm not really sure because there's so many major arcana cards, but it looks like there has been, a, like most of you are in a place and energy of completion, like a big kind of completion, and you're just trusting in the path that you're on, even though you don't know where you're going to go next, and you're not sure what you're going to do next, uh, but really trusting in that path or needing to trust in that path. Some of you may be retiring. It could be that you've retired or you're making final plans to retire, and you're just kind of reflecting back on this long path, uh, which is what the world card represents, and uh, kind of considering what where you're going in the future, what you're going to do, kind of lots of possibilities, potential is endless, 
feeling really good about it uh, and ending the month feeling really good about it as well. Uh, new beginnings, maybe time to start thinking what else you're going to do with your life. So I'm going to start with your crowning card. Your overall energy and advice is the Seven of Wands. Wands is fire energy. This is uh, the energy of this suit is kind of creative, manifesting, forward moving energy. It's all about change, movement, action, power. The Seven of Wands is a somewhat defensive energy. It represents standing up for yourself or someone else or something that you strongly believe in because of how much you have invested in it. It can represent uh, this being your advice over the month of May, um, you know, standing your guns, standing your grounds, defending what you believe very strongly in and it can represent overall that the reason that you're at this beautiful place of completion is because you of the investment that you've made in it uh, standing by something standing up for something continuing to fight for it to protect it to guard it to defend it because you feel so strongly about it and you're at this completion stage now Some of you may be involved in a job or work, something at work or career path that you have been, uh, you've been in for a long time. You've been, perhaps, and it could be a relationship as well, a romantic relationship or a different type of a relationship, something that you've been, you've been manifesting this energy in for quite some time. It may be time, what you may have be doing this month or, or may have already done going into this month is made the decision to finally, that it's finally time to to lay it down and to move on into something else. Because again, looking at the nature of all these major arcana cards, Sagittarius, it looks like uh, you've come to a really big milestone place in your life. We start with the Empress, followed by the Queen of Wands, which I'm feeling is you. For the majority of you, this is you, Queen of Wands. The Empress is the traditional Earth Mother of the Tarot. She's all about, she can, represents a connection to nature, spending more time in nature, needing to spend more time in nature. She's all about fertility, rebirth. Uh, uh, it could be literal fertility. Some of you may be conceiving this month, finding out you're pregnant this month, giving birth this month. It is it's a card that represents now is the right time to start thinking about what you want to do next, to begin to sow the seeds, plant the seeds, to manifest whatever you want to do next in in on your path of life. Uh, it's it it's kind of like again, it feels like there's been a, a completion in your life, a major completion. You're at this milestone. You're kind of looking back over the path. You're reflecting on it. Uh, it's time. The time is right to actually start thinking about and perhaps even planting some seeds on what you want to begin to do with the next portion of your life or the next portion of this relationship or project or career path. Because uh, again, it's it's going to uh, manifest in different areas of your life depending on who's watching. And you're fully in there at the beginning of the month with this energy, Sagittarius. As yourself, manifesting as the Queen of Wands, uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius, uh, showing up as a female, but could be a male as well. Assertive, focused, intentional, action-oriented, good at problem-solving, good at getting the job done, good at delegating and inspiring other people to get the job done, charismatic, leadership abilities, passionate, creative, on fire, a real go-getter, uh, kind of in your own element. And it is time, it's time to, to start laying the seeds or figuring out what you're going to do next time for these new beginnings and again for some of you it, you're you're considering just laying something down that you've just been either fighting with fighting for or just you know defending uh putting so much of yourself into it maybe time for that to, it's ending or it may be time for that to end so you can have these new beginnings plant something new do something new and you're ready Reflection and assessment in the world, uh, paired with the star card. Milestone energy, reflection energy, being on top of the world. You've reached the top of a mountain. You're looking back at, just looking back at everything it took to get you from where you started to where you are now. Acknowledging uh, the hard work, the sacrifices, uh, the lessons learned, the skill it took, uh, the successes, the failures, the triumphs, the defeats, all of it. Uh, and, and considering again, what's next moving forward? Look at everything I've accomplished. I wonder what I'm capable of doing next. What's next? Trusting, hope and faith, renewed sense of hope, faith and optimism paired with that star card. Hope, faith, trusting in the path that you're on, divine timing and orchestration. 
She's emptying her pitchers out into this water, completely emptying, emptying them out in perfect faith and confidence that when she needs her water, those pitchers will be refilled because the trust is limitless. She trusts the path that she's on. She trusts in divine intervention, God's spirit, the universe, and angels. As long as she does the work that's in front of her to do, she trusts in the path unfolding as it's meant to. And that that path leads to her joy and fulfillment and involvement as a human being. What's next? Trusting in the path. Trusting that it will, that whatever it is you're supposed to be doing will be brought to you. You'll be led to it. Now next to that we have the energy of temperance followed by justice. Temperance is a card of just that, temperance, kind of the middle ground, balance, uh, finding that place that you really can't be rattled or shaken off of, kind of like in a mental and emotional, spiritual way, being in the middle of a seesaw or teeter-totter, where you're not on the outside, where whether you fall down or go up and down depends on the weather, on other people, on a lot of different things. You found that center within yourself, that grounding, so no matter what's going on on the outside, you remain stable, you remain balanced, uh, harmony, balance, patience, peace. This is about uh, kind of paying attention to your thoughts, words, and actions over the month of May. Uh, try not to do anything that's very too hasty, too spontaneous and impulsive. Finding that balance, finding that center, and kind of maintaining that. Now, temperance is is uh, accompanied by justice. This is a card of, this is the reap what you sow card. What you put into something is going to reflect directly the outcome and result of something. Uh, so the cautionary advice is always to be as transparent as possible, uh, as honest as possible, and maintain as high a degree of, of your own personal sense of honor and integrity as possible because it's going to affect the outcome and the result of something. Uh, so what you put into it is going to directly affect what the result of this is moving forward on this path. This could also represent, um, justice can also represent legal situations, contracts, negotiations, and the upright working out in your favor, but it may require some patience, some harmony. There may need to be some compromise and negotiation and working with other people to come to a just and fair resolution, but it looks like you're going to be reaching that. Uh, some of you may be waiting for uh, an outcome and uh, maintaining a, a peace, stability, balance, uh, a centered serenity within yourself or needing to. Again, I feel like it works out if, if it's a legal situation. I feel like it really works out in your favor, <clears throat> even if you may be waiting to see what the outcome or result of that is or what the, de the final decision is. I feel like, too, in moving forward, for those of you who have, you know, are at this milestone place and you're considering what to do next, um, take a, a moderate temperate approach but, and, in this. Don't rush forward too spontaneously and impulsively. And make sure that you weigh everything out. Consider all your pros and cons before you set anything into motion. And I feel like the majority of you actually already do that with the energy that we end the month at with the Seven of Pentacles followed by the sun. So the seven of pentacles is reflection energy. This is, uh, for some of you, it's looking at the path that you've just finished walking, this completion stage you've come to. It's harvest time. Uh, what have your efforts produced? Uh, did you produce what you wanted to? Did you get back more than you invested? Is it worth continuing to invest in or is it time just to lay it down and do something new? And if so, what new thing to do? Reflection and assessment in what your investments and your efforts so far have gleaned and what to do going forward based on that and considering the possibilities and potentials moving forward. And I feel like the advice from Spirit is that you should take this month to be more of a reflective, contemplative, inner kind of month and looking at all of these things, but definitely feeling much better. And whatever it is that you finished or has come to an end, there's almost kind of a palpable sense of relief attached to it, an uplifting of energy, being able to finally let this thing go or finally just stop working, stop putting so much into it as we end with the sun. Beautiful Major Arcana card, the most positive. Uh, increases all the uh, uh, positive energy around it and can lessen and even negate some of the challenging energy of the cards around it. It's an uplifting uh, of energy, a loosening up of restrictive energies, of finances, life, love, warmth, laughter. It illuminates. It provides answers and clarities where previously you didn't have any. There's a strong sense of just sheer fun with this card, of laughing, of needing to get out and just take a vacation, go out and do some things for no other reason than for the 
purpose of having fun, carve out some time for yourself, get away, uh, do some things that are just truly enjoyable, but definitely feeling a sense of pressure, I feel like, lifted from a lot of you with whatever this ending is, whether it's been an ending that's been completely of your choosing or something which has just come to an end or something which it looks like needs to come to an end so you can transition into the next thing, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, that pretty much wraps up your May 2017 general readings. I hope you have enjoyed it, that it's brought you some insight and uh, guidance or food for thought. Uh, I will see all of you again in a few weeks for the May 2017 general mid-month readings. Yeah, again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can click on that About or Description button on my YouTube channel's homepage, and feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I will see you all again in a few weeks for the Mid-Month Generals, and until then, as always, Sagittarius, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.